We're about 10 seconds in. The flames are all maybe five feet in height now. They're on top of that first pallet load. Twenty-five seconds. You're already at fifteen feet high in flames. Fifteen seconds. About thirty-five seconds now. The sprinkler just operated on the right-hand side. That fire on the right is now going to be controlled, and that's the largest it's going to get. While the fire on the left is going to continue to develop and grow. We're not even one minute into the test. Above the sprinkler test, the gas temperatures are below 90 degrees. That's Fahrenheit. And above the unsprinkler test, they're reaching temperatures as high as 300 degrees Fahrenheit at the ceiling. into the test, the temperatures above the unsprinkled fire are at 500 degrees right now, Fahrenheit. We're up to 700 degrees now. 800. The flames are now at 30 feet in height. Can you feel the flame? Can you feel the heat? Mm -hmm. Thousand degrees at the ceiling yeah. right now. Yeah. Wow. We're almost at two minutes only. Two and a half minutes, and we're at 1,100 degrees at, on the test on the left. So on average, there's still 15 minutes before the fire service arrives. That's what you want. So like I said, that's just a single row rack. Imagine if there was multiple rows there. Double row rack, or what we talked about earlier, the IMAX storage and retrieval systems that are much taller, wider. So the maximum temperature above that fire on the left was 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit during this test. About now, the fire brigade are probably on their way. Yeah. Three minutes in, yeah, maybe the fire brigade's got the alarm and they're getting to the scene or on their way, but the fire still continuing to grow and hamper. Without a sprinkler in that distance, would the other one be burning? What's that? No, no, without um, a sprinkler, it's a, the other probably one a little, would be burning. Not yeah. jumping, probably a little too far for jump around, unless you had something like that. So that material would yeah. So that the test is over. Now you're going to watch the fire service. Yeah. Now just look how challenging. I mean, that is a open array. They know where the source of the fire is. And it's very easy for them to get there. But in real life, they would have to enter a warehouse or a facility. Everything's burning. The smoke is down to the ceiling level, uh, down to the floor level. Here we have and our one this little help. Yeah, here we have that for our task.